that is probably the worst day since we arrived in Sri Lanka. I know I probably look like a, like a complete exhaustion right now and it is because of how our day went so far. So it started off really really nicely in Gaul. Um, we were staying there at the Fort Tari Inn and everything was fine. We got into with, with uh, we got into a car with a driver. I'm sorry, I'm so dead already. Um, anyway, we got into the car with a driver and came out here to Unawatuna into the place that we had pre-booked over booking.com now i don't know if we sh should we name the place that we booked we're not gonna name it because okay. we don't we don't want to damage this place yeah. reputation or anything like that but it is absolutely horrible horrible which is very strange because usually we look at reviews and this place actually has good reviews which on, is really weird on booking.com it has very very good reviews i think it was a what is it like a 8.6 8.6 yeah so usually we check the booking.com reviews and some google reviews and everything usually is according to what it says online but in this case it really really isn't so we arrived at the new place here in Unawatuna and um, well first of all the owner of the place seems to be a little bit sketchy I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we arrived and then like immediately he started asking us to pay up front before we even properly checked in or anything and that's usually not the case around Sri Lanka usually you pay somewhere mid to end stay you know uh, after seeing the room and everything uh, anyway, he asked us immediately to pay up front, um, which we didn't do yet, but we will probably have to do it. And um, then after we saw the room itself, um, and it's really not as advertised, so the sheets are very, very dirty. The guy is just very unpleasant. As always, a lot of traffic. The, light, the lights don't even work. The lights don't work in the accommodation. Everything is very dirty. I don't know. And just this overall feeling of, you know, I'm, this place is probably not a good uh, place to stay. We also read some reviews about the place. And um, three, three of the reviews on this place said that the owner literally robbed the people. They, he went into their room stole money from them and then when they brought him to the police station he basically just laughed in their face and the police did the same so yeah not a good feeling and not a good experience at all um, but nonetheless we went back on to booking.com we have reserved we've reserved a different place which we are only hoping is going to be better uh, but so far, to be completely honest, Una Watuna is giving us an absolutely horrible vibe. And we never, never, ever like to project negativity in our videos. Most of the time, as you probably know, if you watch our stuff, we're very, very positive and almost overly positive because we try and look at the positive side of all situations. But to be honest, today it's just extremely bad. The thing with the bus as well, if you want to. Yeah, oh my god. So, we basically were trying to walk to find some food as well. We left our accommodation, we w went onto the main road, and it's roughly around one and a half to 1.8 kilometers outside of Unawatuna Center because we tried to get so a little bit of a saving um, on the place because a lot of Unawatuna is very expensive for obvious reasons it's a very touristy destination but we wanted to come here and make a video so we're on the main road and we're walking sort of to look for a cafe and to look for an ATM to pay this person and we see a bus so Naomi just stuck her hand out, she flagged down the bus, I jump on, she jumps on and immediately one of the people in the bus starts to push Naomi out of the bus and while, it's driving. while it's driving, while the bus is driving and I actually, if you can see here, scraped my knee on the actual bus itself so I was Naomi was pushed out. I had to jump out the back of the bus. And uh, yeah, it was just an absolutely insane experience, to be honest. Stuti, thank you. But uh, 
we finally got some we finally juice got here. Got some refreshments. Now the thing with the bus that I don't understand, we were obviously like approximately two kilometers down the road and this is the only road and we were going towards Unawatuna center now I don't understand why they couldn't take us for the two kilometers or whatever on the journey obviously we would have paid them but it kind of seemed like they just didn't want somebody on the bus for such a short journey or something like I don't know but uh, yeah today is challenging and not going so well I, I'm just kind of I'm ready to just go to bed and like call it a day basically yeah, for sure. It's definitely not a highlight so far, guys, of our trip, to be honest. But we're going to take you guys with us. We have to go back to the accommodation actually now in a sec. We're going to grab our bags and head to our new accommodation. And hopefully, hopefully, it will be a new beginning to a very terrible day. I'm done. we were able to organize a lovely tuk-tuk driver and um, we just picked up our bags we picked up our bags really really quickly and um, paid the guy because obviously you cannot cancel a booking at the same day so we unfortunately had to pay the full amount of money and um, we're now back to the new accommodation which is lovely we checked it out um, a few minutes ago it's really nice it's very clean and um, yeah, I cannot wait to take a nap, I want to say. It's been a long day and it hasn't even really started, so yeah, we're ready for a nap. All right, so made our way to our new accommodation and we just arrived in the room. Wow, it's much, much, much nicer than the last place that we were in, thankfully. Um, currently, Unawatuna is having a little bit of a power outage though, so there's no <clears throat> AC yet, but we do have an amazing fan going, so that's great. Nice big double bed. Naomi's already in there because she's very sleepy and tired. It's been a pretty crazy day. Um, we have a very nice balcony as well, which is kind of overlooking the center area of Unawatuna. It's literally just here beyond the trees. And then there's a nice, pretty nice anyways, bathroom show you guys it's nice and nice and bright in here so you do have the window nice little bathroom set up and a shower there too so both of us are very happy and um just grateful that uh, everything seems to have worked out it's really funny because Unawatuna is this is the second accommodation as you guys know and we came here to the new one and once again the guy is like can you pay now and we were like well we kind of want to see the room first and then we went to the atm and we couldn't even access the atm because there was a power outage so we're going to be paying for this place probably later on tonight when the electricity comes back it's usually he said it's usually off for like an hour or an hour and a half but yeah it's been a very eventful day pretty crazy I think this place here has a generator though because the ceiling fan is still working so if you maybe we can try to turn on the AC no nope it's not working fans working fine so they obviously have some sort of a backup for the fans but yeah guys it's an improvement and we're obviously going to be making a totally separate video giving you our actual first in, first impressions of Una Watuna. This is just literally the day that we arrived and where well, we've had a really bad experience. Yeah, and um, not, a oh God, I look like I, <laughs> I had a rough day. Um, not everything, every single day is always perfect. And we wanted to show you that side of uh, traveling as well. Now, obviously when it comes to Sri Lanka, I think this has been pretty much our first negative experience, but we still wanted to tell you obviously, just to be fair and uh, show other tourists that both sides are possible, but it's very, very rare that something like this happens. 
Yeah, it's true. It actually is, I think, the first negative day, genuinely, since we arrived here. Uh, we had a couple of other days where, you know, you're getting approached a little bit too much by tuk-tuk drivers or whatever, but that just comes along with being in Asia in general. But nonetheless, guys, we're very, very grateful that this seems to have worked out. The place that we're in now is definitely much nicer. The owner is much more friendly and um, it has fantastic reviews as well overall so i think we we made the right decision anyways and uh, we're definitely going to kick back relax enjoy our first evening here and then we'll see you guys in the next video where we actually give you our true and honest first impressions of the most touristy place i think in all of sri lanka maybe even more so than hikadua Una, una with tuna. Guys. Hopefully the next video is going to be a little bit more positive. I'm very sorry that we had to do this, but yeah, we have to show you the real sides. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to lie to you guys. That's the thing. See, a lot of people always say to us, you always just speak about the positives. And that's oftentimes just because we really want to show just how great certain countries are. And Sri Lanka is genuinely one of the best countries that we've traveled to since we started traveling. We really have enjoyed our time here so far. Um, it's just literally today we just hit a wall and we had nothing but like negative experiences and that's just <laughs> unfortunate. Sometimes you have bad days and that's literally goes for every country that you travel to. So, yeah. but for now guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Sri Lankan adventure. Boma Stuti for watching. Stuti. Bye bye. bye. bye.